the Elgato CamLink Pro coming in with four different HDMI inputs for you to be able to use four different cameras. It is a PCIe Express motherboard port, so make sure you choose the right port before trying to insert this device. The unboxing is pretty simple, so let's get into installing into our desktop PC. When it comes to the system requirements, you'll want to check out this whole spread and pause the video. Either way, we're going to go further into where we're going to be turning off and disconnecting our power for the desktop PC. Next, we're going to be unscrewing our current capture card, which we're going to throw back in. Since there are two PCIe slots on this board, we're going to screw in our Elgato CamLink Pro, and then we also have our Elgato Game Capture Card. After installing in the PCIe slots, make sure you screw down your cards in there to make sure that they are grounded and not loose. Then next thing, plug in your power and power on your system you should be good and from there we're going to jump into the drivers as well as the 4k capture which will take over to obs to set up our cameras starting on elgato's website go to the download section in the top right corner you'll then want to find the 4k capture utility from there you want to download it open it up install it once it's installed you want to open up your 4k capture utility and then also open up obs first start by opening the 4k capture utility you just installed you'll see a whole bunch of different features Feeds from there you'll have the option for four different HDMI inputs make sure you remember which camera is hooked up to which HDMI input on the CamLink Pro by default your CamLink Pro HDMI one input will be the multi view but you can change that within the 4k capture settings to only show the first camera feed but this can still be easily adjusted within the 4k capture utility we're going into OBS now we have all of our scenes set up we have HDMI one hooked up as our video feed which is showing the multi view which can be changed as I said within this setting you can customize your multi view of what it shows you can change what HDMI it'll show or you could bring up all four of your camera sources it's really up to you and how you customize it beyond setting up all of your video sources within 4k capture as well as the multi view we have one last thing we want to address and that is the color correction which everyone should have some amount of color correction filtering through OBS I did just throw it on one scene which was the multi view scene which had the quad video source paneling beyond all that if you're looking for a tutorial for that you might as well just search the internet i don't have one up right now either way thanks for checking out this video like the video subscribe to the channel become a member and help support the work that we do here and beyond that stay elevated and peace out